Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Let's quickly open a video clip first. The video will appear in the project files. Drag the video on one of the five tracks. As expected, it will then show a video preview in the right window. You can hold control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline. To split a video into two parts, first drag the cursor to the location where you want to split the video. Once you have the cursor in position, right-click on the blue circle at the top of the cursor. It will open a drop-down list with only one option, Slice All. Click on it, and it will give you three options. Choose the first one to slice the video from the exact cursor location. Let's do it again from another location. The second slice all option will keep the left side of the clip and remove the right side. And the third option will do the opposite. To create a zoom in animation, we need to change four values, which are location X and location Y and scale X and scale Y. First, select the clip on which you want to apply the zoom in effect. With the clip selected, select the previous marker button. As we have not created any markers, the editor will simply move the cursor to the start of the clip. Here we want the zoom level to be minimum, which means no zoom at all. In other words, we want to slowly zoom in as the cursor moves towards the end of the clip. This means that at the start of the clip where our cursor is right now, the value of location X and Y and scale X and Y should be the default value. That is zero for both location X and Y and one for both size X and Y. To keep this default value, simply right click on the location X twice and select insert keyframe. This will lock the value of location X at this cursor location. Repeat the process for location Y and scale X and Y. Now move the cursor to the end of the clip by clicking on the next marker button. Once the marker is at the end position, right click on it. A list will open. Choose the transform option. A number of transform points will appear in the video preview while holding control to maintain the aspect ratio. Increase the size depending upon the level of zoom that you want. You can also change the location by dragging the center point. Notice how it is only changing these four values, and it will automatically add keyframes to them if they are not added manually. Now if you move the cursor back and hit play, you will see how the video has a zoom in effect now. My laptop is not that powerful, so the video preview is a bit laggy. To crop a video, simply copy the values of location and scale that were set at the end of the clip, and paste them at the start of the clip. This means that the video will have the same zoom level at the start and end of the clip, essentially cropping out unnecessary areas. You might notice that there are options for cropping, but I find this method more simpler. That is it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more straightforward tutorials of a number of applications. Thank you for watching.